Good morning all. Some interesting items which I have been looking forward to. So it's post bag. Let's do this one first. My knife is so blunt. Now that is nicely packed. It's that. Now here's a clue. Uh, 85C1 plus or minus 5 amps class 2.5. I think you can probably guess that it's an analog meter oh it's even got a sort of quality sticker on it and yes it's center zero yes that looks very nice this of course is for my Muppet 2 project um, because Muppet is bi-directional so you can transfer current from one side to the other or from the other side back to the first so I wanted a meter which would go either way uh, from zero and yes you can get these center zero meters um, this one looks quite nice We've got the hardware with that I'm just thinking of taking the back off actually see if we can see the shunt uh, yes there it is it's behind this little module which covers the uh, shunt which looks like a piece of brass or copper it's a bit yucky down there I think there's some grease down there which got a bit boiled when they soldered that end of the shunt there's also a resistor there in series with the two wires that go into the meter but well we assume it's going to be reasonably accurate and in fact I mean accuracy is not my main priority here I just want to see uh, some current approximately how many amps it is in the positive or negative direction so yes this is the uh, minus five plus five amp uh, center zero ammeter um, so this is the ammeter that I bought previously but of course it can't show negative current and in fact, I've attached some um, banana plugs to it and they're at that two inch pitch, which matches the Muppet 2 breadboard. And in fact, when I put it in the Muppet 2 breadboard, it uh, immediately went in reverse. And I thought, hmm, that's not very good. What I need is a center zero ammeter. Yeah, nice. Oh, well, let's just see what advert comes up. And it is Disneyland. That's pretty innocuous. So this item on eBay is the DC minus zero plus minus five amp zero plus five amp analog 85C1, which I believe is the spec analog ammeter uh, amp panel meter. So this one was $4.88 uh, free shipping. And this one came from Payer Intel International, I guess that is. Right, do, let's do this one, um, which looks very, very similar. Very, very, very similar. In fact, it's pretty much identical. Uh, it's just that this one also says 85C1 plus or minus one amp. So I wanted um, to try different resolutions. So this is plus or minus one amp. Um, if I'm going to plus one amp, minus one amp, I can probably use the MOSFETs without heat sinks on the Muppet 2. Uh, if I'm going to go to five amps, which I want to do, because I've got a plan to charge my supercapacitors using Muppet. If I go to 5 amps, I might need to put some heat sinks on the MOSFETs. I'll certainly need to beef up the polyfuses. But yeah, this is just another one, plus or minus one amp. And this one's very similar. It's just on a red background here. Uh, DC minus zero plus, minus one amp, plus one amp. That was a lightning strike. Analog, 85C1 analog ammeter. What's up with my mouse? Uh, once again, $4.88 free shipping. Uh, again, from Payer International. I must remember that name because they do um, protect these meters very well in those little boxes. You might pay a bit more, but I think it's worth it. Right, let's do this one. Um, related, possibly, in a sort of minimal way. It's a panel meter. Yes, it's a LCD panel meter, probably backlit, probably with a blue uh, LED. It does seem to have a, a film over the uh, glass, so that could possibly be removed. On the back, it's ooh single chip with a regulator, and you get this little wire. Um, I think I've thought of something I can use this for right now. Um, I've been discharging these supercapacitors, these three supercapacitors, and I've got uh, an LED panel meter. Um, which might be a good thing because I want to discharge them, so I want it to uh, consume some current. But let's just try the LCD meter on here. Right, so let's hook 
up uh, that onto there. Uh, okay, let's put that there. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Will it power up? Yes, it does. And it's saying 6.356 or 7. Oh, it does seem to waver about a bit. It's also not terribly readable. I wonder if peeling that uh, cover off the glass would help. Let's try that. Yes, I'm not sure this was such a good idea now. Um, or at least not the way I'm doing it. I think I've scratched the uh, plastic lens. And also, I'm not really doing this very effectively because this stuff is under the plastic surround. Oh, well, it's out. Let's give that a try. Right, positive on positive, negative on negative. These stripped back ends are... Oh, that's much more readable, isn't it? Yeah, 6.35 volts. It does waver about a bit, but I mean, it gives a good at a glance reading and of course that's going to be very visible outdoors you don't see the blue light so much um, in fact let me flood a bit of sunlight on my desk because there is a bit Pull these blinds up tip this thing back and see if we can see it in daylight well the lcd angle is not brilliant but uh, these are much more readable in daylight of course than led and this one is a DC 4 to 30 volt digital voltmeter, voltmeter tester power meter, LCD display with two wires. Uh, it was only $2.56, which I think is pretty reasonable. Free shipping. And this one is uh, from UR5 Store. Uh, let's do an unidentified one. It just says diode. Uh, these unidentified ones are always a bit dodgy because I can't remember what it is or why I bought it. And it's more about whether I'm still enthusiastic about it. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think these are the trans orbs. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure what I bought was um, the P6KE33CA bidirectional uh, transient suppression diode. But what's it say on it? There doesn't seem to be much in the way of markings. Um, no, that doesn't say much at all. It's got a funny logo there. Um, and it says CM, so I could look that up on um, Google and just see if there's anything for CM. And um, yes, it seems to tie up with this Diodes Incorporated data sheet um, where we've got it as a 600 watt peak pulse power dissipation, well, a 600 watt surface mount transient voltage suppressor. And if I go down to this enormous table here, uh, we have here the SMBJ33CA with a reverse standoff voltage of 33 volts. That's interesting. Other data sheets showed that as much lower. Um, oh, that is interesting, actually, because I thought the 33CA had a reverse standoff voltage of lower, like about 28 volts, and then the breakdown voltage sort of spanning that 33 volts. That's not what this is saying. This is saying 36.7 to 42.2. It really doesn't matter. I mean, a lightning strike is going to be a lot more volts than that. But it is interesting that that differs from the other data sheet I looked at the other day. Anyway, that has a marking of CM. So that would tie up with that device there. However, I'm not going to be using um, the surface mount version of these transient suppression diodes because on my PWM5 Femto, here it is, taken straight out of the garden. It is covered in rain because it's kind of raining on and off out there. And I used the through hole transient suppression diode. Um, this thing is uh, still working absolutely fine. It's covered in its conformal coating, this UV glue stuff. Um, I'll power it up on this 12 volt battery, but I've got to be careful because if I short these two, there will be a loud bang. So let's make sure that one remains visible while I put power to it. The light comes on and it should now flash and give me the voltage. Let's see if it does that. One, two, and five or six uh, little ones. So that's about 12.5, 12.6. 
So yeah, that's still working really well. And people have said all sorts of things about this um, UV glue conformal coating. Well, it works really well. This has held the rain off and we've had some fairly torrential rain. Uh, was it people saying something about the board is going to delaminate? Well, it certainly doesn't show any signs of delaminating. It's fiberglass, so the fibers are all higgledy-piggledy, aren't they? Can't see how that's going to delaminate. That's fine. And in any case, this is going in a piece of clear heat shrink tubing. And then I'll probably just pour hot glue in the ends, knowing that the board itself is protected from any moisture which gets in. So I think that's the way I'm going to do this. UV uh, glue conformal coating, bit of clear heat shrink, bit of glue in each end. And that's it packaged up. Uh, so unfortunately, the surface mount transient suppression dies are going to go into a sort of permanent uh, storage probably never to be used let's have a look on ebay and uh, here they are on ebay now they've dropped off my um, purchase history because i bought them back in april um, and have now not used them 50 pieces smbj 33ca smb tvs diode it's a do214 aa package uh, 198 for those 50 pieces free shipping and these came from shengming electronics right let's do one more um it's unidentified just says electronic components no commercial value yeah probably is i don't know what it is am i going to be surprised or disappointed ah yes two integrated circuits they're 74 ls logic they're the 74 ls 148 um 8 bit to 3 bit priority encoders now these i'm going to use for my uh, flash analog to digital converter these will do the logic part of converting um, a one of eight or one of seven is it going to be um comparator outputs into a three bit binary uh coded signal for the analog to digital converter now, I can't remember much about this project. It's not sort of in my head at the moment, but I did um, use a program called Logic Friday. Someone recommended that to me and I worked out that I could do the encoding um, for this, but it would take something like 17 NAND gates, which would be five chip packages. And I can do that encoding with just this one single package. So, yeah, when my head's wrapped around this again, I'll come back to this and we'll see if it works on those new breadboards I bought last time. And uh, so where did these come from? Two pieces, DIP IC, SN74LS148N. Uh, they're only $1.68 for the two pieces. That's not too much, is it? Free shipping. Oh, these came from Survey 2014. And so these are today's post bag items. I've just noticed these two meters are quite different. The five amp has that big sort of shunt box there. The one amp is uh, much more lean you might say um big thanks to jlc pcb who sponsor my videos and they're the people who manufactured these um wonderful printed circuit boards um both these the pwm5 gumstick version and the little femto ones um also a huge thanks to uh, patreon supporters if you'd like to become a patreon supporter click this link here another couple of videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff and if you're not subscribed to my channel and would like to be, click this link here. Cheerio.